Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and welcome to FTL Multiverse. Now, okay, I know, I know, I know, I have a lot of series, you know, started and didn't finish them or, and, you know, stuff like that, but I, I'm just having fun, you know, just recording, playing, talking, doing all sort of stuff, you know, enjoying games for real, you know, and when it comes to the other games that I'm gonna play or playing or whatever, yeah, they're, they're gonna come back once I know, you know, I get in the mood of the, the other games because I got a lot of stuff going on and yeah, and also, yeah, I'm back of course, as you can see, um, I took a little bit of a break, um, I needed it, uh, but yeah, here we are, um, I, I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna upload, like, often, it's, it depends on what kind of video I'm making, if it's like this, which is gonna be like, probably less edited and all of that um then yeah can i i guess i can play it often and upload often but if it's like a video like i did with terraria the weapon randomizer mod uh if it's you know heavily edited then it's gonna take a, a lot longer and oh yeah i'm also planning on uh trying the the 100 days in whatever video format uh it's it's gonna take a while until we get to that, but um, anyway, let's begin our journey to FTL Multiverse. So what we got here? We got the Super Liminal. This is the only ship unlocked. I don't have anything else unlocked, obviously. Um, yeah, what we got here? We have the Burst. Standard Burst, laser weapon, power efficient and affordable, but not too flashy either. One power, 12. Seconds charge time, two shots, nice, and pierce. Um, a unique assault laser that can pierce additional shield layers, that's nice. Required power two, charge time 30 seconds, accuracy bonus nice, and two shots per charge. Okay, that's a pretty good loadout for the first ship, so yeah. This is what we got, uh, we, ha we have Reinhardt, um, basic human. We have Craig Dolan, an orchid floral. The florals, natively known as the the Gaiae, I, I don't know, are a friendly species of mostly pacifist plants which can buff your crew and refill oxygen. Okay, refills oxygen, does work on ships we have, okay, well, makes sense. Takes more damage from fire, friendly fire in... Oh no, what, what? No, friendly crew in the same room gain an additional 20 max health, repair speed and heal speed. Okay, that's nice. And we got Nick Me. A separate, separatist, separate, the I, I, okay. That word, NG. The, that word, NG, have broken free from the control of the Harmony, a widespread program that controls the NG and encourages, encourages sameness. That's fucked up. Um, yeah. Active ability. Toggles to nanite mode where it ignores doors, resists mind control, and becomes damage resistant, but cannot fight, repair, or heal. Okay, ah, okay, well, let's see how the first run goes. You take a look at the distant swirls of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of the next chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Alright, we got a lot of fuel. Um, challenge levels locked, okay. Um, before your mission begins, you might be time to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? Proceed with my mission. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation warp bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between universes. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome. And are not and are and not fuck. <clears throat> and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates. Right? Okay. Alright, um, what could we use right away? We already have, have better weapons. A crew member would be great, but let's just grab some resources. Wow, that was not worth it. Whatever. Um, Alright. Uh, yeah. Just gotta get used to playing this game again. Haven't played in a long time. Um, yeah. Well, let's see what we got as the first jump. Well, I mean, I don't have to go here. 
just to get some more supplies because, you know, hard mode and whatever. Alright, what we got? You find yourself surrounded by a variety of alien vessels. Apparently, traveling in a caravan for their own safety, they appear to have set up a collective market, but each individual might have something special on sale. Um, I don't really have any money, so... I'm, I mean, I guess I'll trade with the Zoltans, why not? Um, just in case they have the Zoltan shield, which they do not. I can buy a drone. Um, I don't have a drone bay, so that's useless. Um, energy cannon. Two power, two shots. Iron damage as well. Hmm. This one is kind of good, but at the same time, I don't have the money. Maybe we'll get some money after we jump here at this. Oh boy. I, yeah, the rebels. Oh well. We shall be fine for now. Let's see what we got here. Um, that, that was... Wow. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Disable the drones first. Oh! Alright. That's nice. Can I jump here? Yeah. Okay, I have the advanced thing. I forgot what... What was the name of it? Oops, not that. We have the... Advanced Navigator. Okay. Right. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Once you arrive at this populated region, you immediately... Sorry. You immediately pick up a distress signal. A small shuttle is asking anyone who listen for help protecting their family from a rebel ship. Unsurprisingly, no one has yet responded to their request. Let's see if we can assist them. Where is it? All the way over here. That's actually fine. It's in the way, you know, we go... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... No. Let's just go here for now. Alright, what we got? Any battle? A blip on the communicator shows an incoming transmission from a Zoltan ship out of your field of view. When you pick up, you're greeted by the unwelcome sounds of raving madmen screeching about cowering beneath the prophet's eye. He demands a prayer, an offering, or else suffer his wrath. Well, you see man, I don't really have the money for that and, well, of course. Then it occurs before you. The Zoltan ship jumps away and are immediately followed by a rebel ship jumping in. Were the Zoltan working with the liberals or is this just a pure coincidence? Hard to say, but what things for certain, it's time to fight. Alright. Let's just do nothing and um, since we have the... How much time? 13 seconds, 12 seconds. This is a Pierce weapon, so go for the shields and this goes for the weapons and we should be fine for the first battle because even on hard mode, I mean, this is the first battle, so what could go wrong, right? <laughs> Hopefully nothing. And... Ooh, we still took damage, all right. Well, that was fun. All right, the weapon's down. Uh, might as well target that and that, and we should be good. Yep, there we go. First battle done. All right. Um, go here, 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 and here. Um, how many jump is that? We got one, two, three, four, five. Six. Ah, that's perfect. All right. Ooh. Well, I mean, I don't really use... Um, I mean, it could be useful just in case we find some baddies that have big shields, I guess. Um. Yeah, other than that... I don't know. No, I don't find this useful what they have here unless mm, nah we're good we're good we're good uh cura okay we'll be right there with you in a bit hold on a minute you're not surprised to see this beacon has been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot many such beacons were constructed by prior multiverse travelers to help repair ships such as yours 
all right? Little remains of a supply depot, other than a small helping of a scrap. A pirate ship jumps in nearby, disappointed to find the supply depot already destroyed. I mean, they're pirates, so does anyone care really? And yeah, thought so. Um, they can't really harm us, so it's whatever. And second battle, easy as pie. All right. Yep. That that's that's all they have, huh? Really? Okay. Do you do more hull damage? In one and now it's the same. Okay, good to know. Uh, might as well save the stations for the crew. We got some of that. And let's see what we got here. As soon as you arrive, you spot an unu unusually advanced auto ship waiting for you. Initializing scans, please wait. A bright white glow envelops your ship, and your firewall crumbles almost immediately as a ship siphons all of your data on your computers. Concerning, yes, but the ship doesn't sh show signs of hostility yet. Data collection complete. From my findings, you are a renegade. No need to confirm, I am certain of this fact. I am the custodial utilitarian robotic assistance, Cura for short. The sewage as what um, that word your fears. I am of malicious control no more. I offer you a proposition, one that may interest a simple and violent minded individual such as yourself. Okay, I'm listening. Under my former masters, I was construct constructing the pursuit of data harvesting. However, as a cognitive, it seems unnecessary that my data harvesting continue in service of my creators. Wentworth innovation went towards innovations, nor the rebellion. My recent interests involve that of rebel founder, admiral, and CEO of my aforementioned parent my aforementioned parent company, Vance Hans Wentworth. I am certain you have heard of him. My proposition is simple. Assist me in collecting artifacts relating to Mr. Wentworth, and you will be rewarded, perhaps financially, or it may be even further. However, to assure that you are serious in this offer, I require an initial down payment. The last renegade I hired had a tendency to steal from me. She is dead now. I made sure of it. Um, sure. Payment confirmed. I look forward to working with you. In the future, Renegade, I will upload the list of available tasks to your atlas for you to view during your next hyperspeed session. Okay. Um, sure, I, I, I guess. Why not? You have arrived at the Federation of. Oh, can I speak, please? Thank you. You have arrived at arrived at a Federation supply depot for multiverse travelers. This were established across various realities deemed prominent for protection. A brief scan of your ID is all it takes until a Federation auto ship is dispatched to transfer you over some supplies. Okay, thanks. And quest time. Let's see what we got here. Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. Let's engage the rebel. Alright. And they've got borders. Um, uh, Go oh, help them out. And um, shields, weapons, okay. We should be good, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I mean, okay, we dodged it. And you guys go down there. You don't need the engines anymore, pretty much. Oh, do that. Okay, weapons down, perfect. Return to your stations, and we have one. All right, that was pretty easy, I guess. Oh, nice. The outpost hails you. Thank you. I don't know what we did to our angered rebels, but they were ready to kill us. I'll show you our goods and patch you up your hole. All right, do you have the drone thing? Yeah, you do. Do I want it though? Um, I mean, the battle drone is pretty good, so 
But uh, it requires two power, so no thank you. Um, hmm. Free Guardian, draw Mark 1. <sighs> let's... Let's hold on our money for now. And actually, let's just upgrade our shields. Because we're gonna need that. Next up is gonna be engines and yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. You've reached the end of the first step of your journey. However, it appears you aren't alone. The rebel feet must have sent one of their fighters after you. The rebel captain breaks into laughter upon seeing your ship. You won't take this in so lightly. Not like you have a choice since their weapons are already firing. Okay. I mean. Really teleporting again? Alright, um, shields, weapons, which, where'd you go? Right there, um, um, I should have waited, or whatever. Let's go here. Alright. Thank god I've upgraded the shields, otherwise we'll be taking a lot of damage by now. Okay, both of you go back here, and we should be good. All right, perfect. All right, and we have one. Great, perfect. Ooh, I mean, I'm probably gonna end up selling it. Eh. I mean, it's good for money, I guess. All right. Let's see. Gathering Rimworlds or Fremantis Rimworlds. I'm. I have no idea what these are, but I'm gonna go. Sure. Gathering Rimworlds. 